it is time to upgrade and it's time to take one of these 5090s out of commission, at least temporarily. And inside of here, I've got the 6000 Pro, RTX 6000 Pro. This thing has 96 gigs of RAM and it's beefier in terms of compute just slightly by like 20% more than the 5090. So I'm gonna take one of these out today, put this in and see what it's like to have. What am I gonna have? Like 128 gigs of RAM is gonna be friggin' awesome. I can run just about any model I can imagine. All right, let's do this. So I am debating if I want to get rid of the external one or the internal one. Probably be easiest to take this one off of its stand. So fancy. Those 5090 boxes are so pretty and shiny. This is just like, well, industrial. Alrighty, what do we got in here? Just want to hold it. You know, the nice thing about this is that this is a two slot card instead of three. Actually, this one I've got right now is almost a three and a half slot. So now I'm going to drop down to maybe two, two and a half. I guess I don't know if this is going to overlap or not, but I might actually get some space back. In fact, I was thinking if this card works out well in this box, I can probably put this one in the top slot and I might actually be able to be one of these two in the bottom slot in this box. So I can actually close it up instead of sitting outside here. But the nice thing is on this one, I'll actually have that angle connector, which I hope doesn't become a problem with my 90 degree. We'll see. I don't think it will be, but it's possible the 90 degree needs to come straight out instead. I'll have to use the one that it comes with then. I wanted to get the server edition, but it wasn't available from the vendor. I bought this. I got this from, from ProVantage. They had them available for uh, like a good price. It was around eight. I think it was $8,100 for this. And other people are selling them literally for like 10 to 11 or even more, which is ridiculous. That is the MSRP theoretically, but unfortunately they didn't have the work server edition available. Still don't see it available from the, I would prefer just to have that. And then I could come up with my own cooling mechanism, but had to go with whatever I could get my hands on. All right, so what do I want to do here? I should shut this down. Okay. Yes, I th think what I want to do is I want to see what it would look like right here. And I might be able to just slide this down here toward the right, actually. I would like to know what the power cord fits, though. All right, so I just realized, didn't do the one thing probably people want to see, which is what's in the box. So some sort of support bracket here. And of course, tiny screws, because you always need some of those. And then... <laughs> Isn't that nice? It's a $8,000 GPU and they give you the two by six, 12 volt to four, eight pin adapters. <laughs> That's it actually, there's nothing else in here. So now, like I said, I wanna test this and see what the power plug situation's like. So I might take advantage of that little foam brick I have here. Might just set this right here. And I wanna see if I can get this to connect or not. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a problem. My angle one's not gonna work. Yeah, so the angle on this becomes a problem because it then bumps into this like I was thinking. So I'll need to use the one that came with it. Okay, so had a little bit of a brain for it there, but I need the straight entry point instead of the right angle. I need that over here. And it turns out that the cable actually comes with a straight connector on the other side. I can flip them. I'm 90% certain it'll work to put the right angle on the power supply, actually. So I'm going to take and flip this cable, see what we come up with then. Okay. I have to pull the thing in and out, but if it works, it works. Okay, straight in on this side. That's the good news. I'll put the angled in on this side, and I believe I'm fine. I'm gonna double check it over here though. I flipped this around if it weren't for the fact that I got that razor cable hanging off there right now. So you can see right here, these are my PTAE 5.1. These are the six by two 12 volt. So you can see that's going in there. Yay, all right, we've got the uh, straight in now where we need it. Okay, yeah, that's going to work. So let's just pop off the riser cable. So there's the riser cable. I'm just loosening those up in my janky setup here. If you saw my 5090 video, you might have seen part of the jank I set up here. But there's a little, this is supposed to be for like a power supply. I'm trying to see if you can see this here while I do this. Yeah, you can kind of see it. There's a little piece of plastic here <laughs> I'm resting the card on just the edge of it now. It said, don't do this actually. And of course I had to do it because you screw it on and it sticks up far enough just to hold the card up real nice to counteract the, the other side with the brackets here. In fact, brackets wise, maybe I should just get it out of here so that we don't have to fight over being able to see things here. Got to retire the 5090 already here. No plans to retire it, by the way. I love this thing actually. So I want to get one machine with all of these available in it. This will be the support and I'm going to bring it back to about where it was at in the middle. 
maybe a little bit over the side because then my lazy Susan gets in the way of being able to get this real close. It does look like you can actually grab this thing pretty good, pretty safely here on uh, opposite sides of the fans. It does look like there's a nice area to grab it, whereas I feel like on the 5090 over there, I never really could find the area that I was really that comfortable with grabbing. This thing seems to have nice solid grabby points on the either side by, by the fans, basically. Okay, now technically this side's locked down now, so the whole thing would have to fall off the table, which that could totally happen still. Okay, that's attached now. And all I should have to do now is basically slide the riser under and that PCIe connection's down there. And it's all lined up correctly, so I'm gonna bring this over and we're gonna set this up. Oh, I gotta do the power too. That's all good to go. I think that's it, like besides the power, obviously. Let's hook that up and see if we can reach. Yeah, we can reach, look at that. Well, this is gonna make for a short video because I think everything's hooked up now. That's it. All right, so it's time to turn this puppy on. Let's see what happens. Push that too soon. All right, well, if we get good luck here, we should just be able to SSH in and get access to this puppy. Let's go take a look. Cross my big thing. Look at that. We got the 6,000 right there and we got the 5090. I just wish the other 5090 was here too. Something that would have been very hard to run, of course, would have been Llama, or sorry, GPT OSS 120B here. I'd have had to have scaled this back. In fact, you can see the scaling I have on the end here to move some of the experts to the CPU. Well, guess what? I don't need that anymore. I can just run this puppy as is. If this starts up, I know we're good. Oh, did I not even have this downloaded yet? While that's downloading, I'm going to cut over here. You guys can come with me because I'll be spending my time over here now, so I need to come back. Uh, ooh, that's messy. Everything is just such a tight fit when it comes to this type of stuff. If you want, I'll show you the green screen while that's downloading. Here's how the sausage is made. Where's it at? Yeah, that's how the work. That's how the room works. Green behind me. In fact, I just have this. That's why I got an issue. I gotta get this light on so it's not so damn dark behind me. The cool thing is, if I transition here, look at that. I'm everything's gone. You might be able to see a little wrinkle right here, down in the bottom of the screen. I guess it's hard for me to see without looking at the monitor, but. All right, enough of that. Is it done downloading yet? There must have been an update. This is the one I'm grabbing, right? Yep. Files and versions. 15 days ago. That's, that sounds like when it was originally released. Wait, update with the latest version. Let's go look at the commit history here. How do you get to history on their view here? Like there's four days ago. Here's the commit. Maybe up here. Is it main or master or? No, that's back to this part. I guess I could just pull the repo and check myself, but I really want to find this here now. History, there we go. Right there is a big button. I completely missed it. Yeah, so there was a model update, it looks like. Here is a model update. That's why I'm downloading an update here. Okay, she's firing up now. Well, let's take a peek at the memory here. Well, how did it allocate that? That's interesting. Did it put, no, it didn't. Okay, so here is on GPU zero and one. It's evenly, no, it hasn't evenly split it. Holy crap, I put almost all of it on the, obviously the bigger of the two. The 6000 has 55 gigs worth and then I got 20 gigs worth on the 5090. That's perfectly reasonable split actually. So now the question, the real question that I want to know is, or just a canonical test here. This one, I can use this model here if I just do my rewrite. Finish this class. See how fast. It's got some thinking time. It's generating lots of tokens right now while it's thinking. That's pretty good. What do we have here for... This one doesn't show me tokens per second, though, right away. But if I come over here, I should be able to see it. All right, 100 and, 190 tokens per second with the GPT OSS 120 billion pound model. I got to put that in perspective. I'm, I'm thinking of the 20 billion and I can get into, the, I think, the 260s with that one. But this one, when I had just the 25090s, I could get to 120 if I was doing good. Now I can almost get to 190. That's, that's impressive, actually. That's really fast. That means I can use the bigger, I can use the bigger of the two models. And I assume that's going to lead to an increase in quality. I've got to figure that out though in doing some testing here. And the neat thing is I'm not sacrificing, I'm not sacrificing speed in doing that. Anyways, I'll have more videos after I play around with this a little bit and do some more testing and find some things that are interesting to share. That's enough, I think, for now. Enjoy.